this is the Angel Hug for Wednesday the 11th of December and I'm going to choose a card today from the Angel Therapy deck because we're looking at how we can really, really uh, utilise the incredible healing that we've done this past year in order to create a really wonderful 2014. And we've got Law of Attraction. So I mean, that makes perfect sense. It says relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So, okay, a, a big part of our healing will have been to clear away the past, to renew and regenerate ourselves so that we're ready to look ahead. But there's another aspect of this that when we do this healing, what happens is that we become cl much closer to what we truly are. And what we truly are is very sensitive beings. We are naturally sensitive. Sensitivity is not an aberration. Insensitivity is the aberration. So we will become more sensitive as a result of all this healing. And it's really important to know that with that sensitivity, we will choose different things. We'll choose to live differently. We'll choose to have uh, different people in our lives lives or we will spend more time with other people who are also sensitive or who can understand us. It doesn't mean we won't spend time with the people we always knew, it just means that we will need to have more empathy around us. It also means that we will change the way that we work, the things that we say, the things that we offer, the, that we will have to be more truthful uh, in terms of who we are and how we present ourselves to the world, that we will have to be, uh, so, so if we, you know, if our nature is to be quite, um, uh, not introverted, but if it's more of our nature to do things quietly, then we will feel the need to do that. If it's more of our nature to do things in a bigger way, then we will be less embarrassed about doing that. So it's really a time to remember that in terms of the law of attraction, we will attract to us what we are sending out a very, very powerful signal for. So if you really, really decide that with your heart and your soul, you want something to happen, that is the thing that will become the most powerful. If your heart isn't involved, there is just no way it's gonna happen. So what this healing has led us to is becoming very, very clear about what the heart wants, or becoming at least clearer. And ultimately, the heart wants love. The heart wants to be giving love. The heart wants to be loving. The heart wants to be in loving service. The heart wants expression, a divine expression, a divine creation and creativity. So that's the place to start with our law of attraction, to start thinking, okay, what is it that I really want to express? What is it that I really want to create? Where do I want to bring more love? How am I going to bring more love? And I'm just asking now from the daily messages cards, what is it that we need to know? What else do we need to know about the law of attraction and how we can use it next year for the highest good of all and using the best of our abilities? And we've got release and surrender. So in other words, it's not a time, it, it never works to, to overwork it. Once we've decided what we really want, we have to release and surrender it. And surrender it not just to the cosmos, it's not just about allowing, it's also about surrendering it to the divine and remembering, recognising that everything we do is a co-creation. It's not just an individual creation. It's not just I want. It's a question of surrendering it to the divine, whatever you call it, surrendering it to God and saying, if this is for my highest good, I welcome it now into my being and into my life. And I surrender it so that whatever is truly for my highest good, whatever is the divine purpose that you wish me to serve, will come to me in the highest and most beautiful, most joyful way. And that can only happen when we surrender the only thing that we get when we struggle against something or struggle to create something that isn't for our highest good is more pain and more struggle. So we have to release and surrender everything. Have a clear picture. Test it. See, does it really come from my heart? Does it come from this mature being that I've come as a result of this healing? And if it does, then I'm going to set my whole heart and intention on it. But I'm going to run it by the creator first and just ask, 
uh, is this for my highest good? And if not, give me the strength to release it, to surrender it. And if it is, give me the strength to release it and surrender it, knowing that you will bring it, that it will come, that it's already done, it's already here. And so it is. And the card says, we shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly, tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and heart to our love and assistance. So that's also a card of resistance. It's going to be a really important year for all of us who have come through this big healing to notice where we have been resisting, where we are actually surrounded by amazing things and we've been resisting them. Sometimes we're resisting because we have a gut sense, an intuitive knowing that those things are not quite the right things for us. Us. But it's really important for us to check within us that we are not refusing to surrender our resistance. So that's it for, for today, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I hope you know that an angel holds you.